You think you're going to leave a marriage of 14 years with two little children and think that, you know what, you just gonna get it popping in these streets, girl, you are 45 years old. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Keisha King Show. So we're going to be discussing relationships. Yes, honey. So if you guys know, um, I do a Sunday show with Chad o. Jackson, Blanche Robinson, Chuck, Teach Him Chuck, Little Ten, and myself. We do a show called Cutting Through the Culture. And we've been talking about Black women and um, just the ratchetness and, you know, uh, just all things like just we talk about different things in culture, cutting through the culture. We get to the core of what's going on. And because we've been talking about relationships and family and all these things, I've been thinking about it myself um, for my own personal reasons. And um, I saw that Tia Mowry, she is the twin of Tia and Tamara Mowry. Um, they were on a show called Sister, Sister. It was pretty popular back in the 90s. And, um, you know, one of the twins, Tia, uh, just got divorced. And she said on Instagram, let me show you this. So she said, uh, on Instagram, uh, a word from me, since narratives are being made without my consent, hear it here and only here. Just because the dating life is complicated doesn't mean I'm going to go back to something that no longer served me. That's like implementing if I don't book an audition or a part as an actor right away, I'm going to give up on my dreams. Please just stop. I ain't that weak. Please move on because I have. Thank you. Next. <laughs> well, um, well, you can see that I commented. I said, you will soon find out that marriage isn't about serving yourself. No relationship is. It's going to be hard out there as an over 45 single mom of two, but God bless you and your children. And God bless her a uh, former husband as well. Um, that comment really bothered me. I'm not going to go back to something that no longer served me. And I meant what I said in my post, um, in my comment, marriage is not about serving yourself. Why would you get married to serve yourself? It doesn't even make sense. You get married to serve your family, your husband first, and your children as a wife. Your husband serves you in a different way, um, but he serves his family, his wife and his children. It is a duty that you honor. And as a divorced single mom, <laughs> I can tell you, Tia, you don't want this life, girl. You had a husband of 14 years, um, like she, I believe now I, I I'm going, I'm not going to speak on her because I don't know her and I don't know her marriage. I'm going to speak in general because a lot of women do this from time to time. Um, we are raised to think that marriage is not honorable. We're not raised to believe and understand how valuable men actually are. We, especially black women, many of us are raised to believe that men are just disposable. You don't really need them. You can go after that career. You can go out and get the bag, go and get your degree. We are not made to prioritize marriage. And I hear this in so many conversations. This is something that was taught to me. It is not, it, you know, it's taught in so many different arenas, um, just like the racism thing is taught not just about, not just from like outside of school, black people all around you are saying it. This is the same thing. A lot of black women say this to their daughters all the time. Go after, think about yourself. 
don't think about building a family. Well, if you don't think about building a family, you know, there, there are time parameters on, you know, our bodies as women. There are, you know, uh, you think you're going to leave a marriage of 14 years with two little children and think that, you know what, you just going to get it popping in these streets, girl, you are 45 years old. Like, I, I wonder what she's thinking. I honestly wonder what she's thinking. I see her posting all these things on her Instagram. It's like, I feel like she wants people to believe she's still young and she's still got it. And she's still, you're almost 50. Like you're supposed to be, and I'm not saying that you have to, you know, be in the kitchen baking every day because you're almost 50, but you should be kind of, you should be sort of going on to the other side of your life. Don't you want to? Like, don't you, you've been in front of the camera and all, like, don't you want, now it's like you're trying to relive something that you've, you've been there, done that already. It's just, this is just another form, like the social media, this is just another form of what you've already been doing. It's just very strange to me. I would, I'm interested in what she really thinks. Well, she did this interview and I don't know this guy. This guy's name is Chris Perry. Um, she did this interview and she's just said some really interesting things. So let's listen to what she said. It is very tough. I will say I've, I've only been in the dating world for, I want to say three months now mm -hmm. and it is exhausting. <laughs> like, it's exhausting. I want to throw the towel in. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with, you know, <laughs> someone had told me and I was, I, I, I wanted to be like, no, I, I disagree with you and I don't want to believe it. They were like, you just, because I, my, you know, my last relationship when dating was, you know, when I was, you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer, you know, uh, present, meaning like people just don't court each other anymore. And this person was like, well, you know, that's just, that's old news. Like people, people just don't do that anymore. There's just this whole new way of doing things. And I'm like, you mentioned tradition, you know, and I think that's where it kind of needs to go back to, you know, where, you know, a man is, um, courting a woman and, and showing her, you know, how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her. And I feel like what's happening now, and again, I've only been in the world for a few months, or wants to be with her. And I feel like what's happening now, and again, I've only been in the world for a few months, is they have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like there, there could be someone else. That is it that they're the prize? <laughs> yes. Yes. We talking deep here. Yes. We about to get into it. Oh my God, that the, that the man is the prize. The man is the prize. Yes. I'm talking loud. Yes. That is so true. Like they've taken it off of the woman. The woman. Dating this person, girl, that is that was your husband. That is the father of your children. I'm gonna need you to put some respect on his name. Dating this person. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Well, <laughs> dating her husband. She's mad about going into the today's dating arena and finding that it's not like it was 15, 20 years ago. Well, shocker. Look around, Tia. Look around, girl. Are men doing what they used to do? Every we, we get further and further away of what men and women used to do every day. You know, that's why when you are blessed to be married, you should stay there. You should stay there. Now, I'm not advocating staying in an abusive relationship. I am not advocating. But sometimes what these women say is like, oh, toxic, toxic. Everything is toxic. And it's not tox toxic. It's life. It's life. So, yeah, men go through things too. Women go through things too. And the duty of marriage is sticking with each other when you're going through the things. I remember I was having a conversation with this woman. She had been married almost 40 years and my marriage was going through a tough time. And I was, you know, doing everything I could to figure out how to get it right. And I said, you know, what is it? What do I, what, what do I do? How do I, how do, how do I fix this? 
And we were just talking and she said, Keisha, sometimes there are bad years. I was like, bad years? Yes, with an S. You don't get to be 40, 50 years married and not have some bad years. It's not always like you go through the, you go through a bad year and then you're off sailing. No, it is ups and downs, but it is a commitment. It is a duty. It is sticking through it all through thick and thin. That's what it is, you know? And because marriage is bigger than you, marriage is bigger than you. And like that comment, she said, I am not going back to something that no longer serves me. Ugh. How can you be married to somebody who even believes that marriage should be only serving them? That is so your children, no relationship can survive with you thinking that it's there to serve you. She would, you, I bet you she wouldn't even say that to her friends. She wouldn't say that to her children. And she, she probably wouldn't even say that to her dog. Oh, I'm only getting you so you can serve me. You running around town, you'll find a, uh, the, the best vet. You'll find the best dog food. You'll find, you know, people do all kinds of crazy stuff for their dog, for the dog. But you left your whole marriage that you created little people with because it wasn't serving you. Now you out here and realizing that dating, they're not, they're not here to serve you because you have created a whole life of 14, 14, 15, 20 years and little people with a whole other person. Now, I'm not saying that she can never be married again. But at 45, I mean, just starting out, <laughs> it's going to be rough. And she's probably going to want somebody who, anyway, whatever. But it's, it's really sad to hear her talk like this. You hear a lot of women speak like this. And, and I, I read the comments in that, in that guy's video. Oh, good for her. And on her Instagram, oh, you go, girl. Yes, boo, yes. Do you, honey, live your truth. This is all about you. And I bet you they're single. Or they're married and they treat their husbands like crap. And what I've just found, and I this is something I had to learn in my own marriage. We are raised, many of us, are raised with an idea that we, we don't understand men. Our mothers did not teach us how to understand men. They didn't teach us what men are like. They didn't teach us how to be feminine. They didn't teach us. They were feminists, a lot of our parents. They were feminists. Even if they were married, they were telling you, don't get, don't get married. Go out there and go this, this fantasy that they had built up that they felt like they were missing out. They wanted their daughters to go and live the life and go and, you know, be like you were going to end up on dynasty and in, in, in Dallas and soap operas and stuff. Like they had created a reality and a fantasy in their head that did not exist. And so they were telling their daughters, this is the life, this is what you want to do. Because they felt trapped. They didn't realize that this is actually, this is a good thing. This is a good institution. And so the more we talk about these things, you know, on, on cutting through the culture and here on my show as well, faith, culture, and politics, and we see the world deteriorating right around us, at the core of all of this is family. We have totally disregarded the family and women have totally disregarded men and men have built this society, this comfortable society that we get to have leisure in. And we have just thrown them away like they have done absolutely nothing. We put the woman on a pedestal and we treat the man like he's trash. The very backbone of a society, men you need men. You can't do this by yourself. Ladies, if you think you want to be a single parent, you cannot do this. Girl. Doing this by yourself is flipping hard. 
I would not wish, I, this is not what you want to do. This is not the move. And so, you know, Tia, she's all, you know, she's so deep now, you know. Oh, and it, it's all about self. It's all about you. And so what is she thinking? When you date, do you think that the guys that you're dating are going to want a woman that thinks it's all about them? I'm just curious. I, I'm so curious what she thinks is going to go on in the dating world when a man picks up. The, oh, my God, this girl is all about her. You go. He goes on your Instagram and you. At 45. <laughs> like and like if you didn't want to be in a relationship why why are you even dating in the first place anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section below um i really want to hear what you think what do you think about dating today families today i would love to know what you think thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye bye